What's up everyone, George here. As you know, our channel is all about helping you make your very best videos, because we want to empower your inner video creator. So I'm going to use this cool skit that we made to show you some creative applications of video effects found in most softwares, including Filmora. If you don't have a video editing software yet and you want to follow along, you can try Filmora free by clicking the link here or in the description box below. Let's get into it. In today's news, the Disney Corporation has acquired the moon. Don't be surprised if you see Mickey Mouse in the skies. George, five minutes. Yeah, 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 I'll be right there. I'll be right there. In other news, Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Our best friends. And they've never been happier. Ooh, what? Oh. Look at me. Whoa. I'm George from Fomora. I have a funny ponytail. I have a funny tie. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha Well, guess what? I'm taking over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, buddy. I don't want any trouble. George, hurry up. All right, all right, I'm, I'm coming. Good morning, Vancouver. I'm your host, George McLaughlin, and this is a breaking news update. The Disney Corporation has just acquired the moon. No, no, they need to know about this. Your reflection Maybe trying to end your existence. So the first effect I'm going to talk about is called masking. We use this trick in Filmora for almost the entire skit. To do masking effects in Filmora, drag the two video clips you want to use into the two PIP tracks putting the video you want masked out on the bottom most track. Right click the top clip in the timeline and select the mask option. Select the shape you want to use. In this video we use a square shape to completely mask the right half of the bottom clip with the top one. Then drag the sliders around to completely mask the area you want to cover. A split screen displays two or more clips together, separated into different screens. See how we use the split screen to create tension between me and my mirror self in our showdown. To add a split screen in Filmora, click the split screen button above the timeline. Then you can browse and preview different kinds of split screen frames in the library. Choose your favorite one and drag it onto the timeline. Two drop zones will appear. Select the clips that you want to use in your split screen in the media library and drag them onto each drop zone. If the framing isn't correct, you can move the frames around in the split screen. Elements, overlays, transitions, and filters are all 2D motion graphics you can use to enhance your videos in Filmora. To add any of these motion graphics, simply select one from any of the four categories and drag and drop it on the timeline where you want to enhance your video clip. In this part of the skit, we added my very favorite filter, Chromatic Aberration, which you can find in Filmora's Distortion Filters tab. We also use some overlays and transition from the News Preset Pack you can add to Filmora through a subscription to a Filmora FX store. Just as with other motion graphics, once you have the overlay or transition installed, all you have to do is locate it in the Media Finder and drag it under your clips in the timeline. Green Screen is one of the most well-known effects. This effect helps you combine videos by replacing a color of one video with the entire frame of another. So to use green screen in Filmora, first drag and drop the video clip you want to key a color out of into the PIP track, and put the image you want behind the keyed out color in the track below it. 
Right click the clip in the timeline and select chroma key green screen. The PIP window will pop up and this is where you can preview your clip and key out certain colors. Now, check the make parts of this clip transparent box. Then drag the slider to adjust the intensity level. As you can tell, this slider will affect the transparency of your clip. Keep in mind you don't have to key out just the green color, you can do this to pretty much anything. VFX are like motion graphics, but are 3D and often combine live footage and digital effects together. Our video makes use of Filmora Blockbuster presets in the scenes where you see the explosions in my glasses, as well as the smoke appear when my clone first appears outside the mirror. You can get VFX by using a subscription to the Filmora FX store. Once you've loaded them into the software, you can simply drag and drop VFX onto the timeline and move and resize them to fit your clips. Look how easy it is to add in the glasses during the mirror showdown. Text effects include intros, titles, and lower thirds, which are graphic overlays placed in the center or lower area of the screen. So to add titles or lower thirds in Filmora, select the text credit tab above the timeline. Find the text or title you want and drag it onto your timeline, then double click on it to edit the text. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed those video effects and can make great use of them. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We upload filmmaking tutorials every week. That's it from us. We're George from Filmora. We're here to empower your inner video creator. See you all next time. Ciao. Ciao.